Welcome everybody to today's YouTube video. Today's YouTube video is a limited edition uh, special colorway for um, Erling Holland, and it is a Phantom GX2 Elite in the bright crimson with white. Um, these are hands down the best colorway that they have released of the GX2. You will not change my mind. Um, that is my opinion. I think these are great. I can't wait to get them um, on the pitch, of course. Um, but so tech specs. Nothing is different from the GX2 um, Elite already. It's just the colorway uh, and then added details, of course. Um, this is, I guess, his signature boot. Um, but let's take a look at it. I just wanted to show you guys. I've already opened it. And look at these. These are beautiful. Amazing. Sorry. Let me move that tag. Look at these. We, I've seen, we've seen this color before on boots. Um, but they are just amazing 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 that's the other one go out to the side uh so i can show you guys a little bit more here it's like i said it says white but it's more like a silver to me and then you got this iridescent um sole plate that actually it doesn't say it'll come off so that's probably that's the color of it which is always a nice little um detail that you know when it's actually gonna stay on there and of course on one side, on the left side, you have his first name here. And on the back side, on the right foot, you have his last name right there. Um, yeah, pretty cool boot in the inside. I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not, but it does have, you know, uh, I think that's a signature. And it says Erling, Erling Holland Phantom GX. Um, yeah, hands down, this is the best colorway uh, for me um i went true to size now recently if you take a look at nike's website um they are suggesting sizes so like mercurial they're saying that it runs small to go half a size up um i stay true to size in those i, I believe it said to go half a size up on these as well but again true to size for me works um if you're planning on ordering some and and don't know or you know don't know what you should do definitely try to try some on if you can but for me true to size is what has been working and seems okay with me um i would say there's it's it's weird that it says that that they run small to go up half size when i feel like there's enough room in the toe box for me anyway um but nonetheless a, a very awesome boo if you haven't tried it try it please don't um don't shy away from this Cyclone 360 um, soul plate. It's aggressive. It's it's great. Um, and this is the one boot where the gimmick works, where I can say that it's truly, truly sticky. Uh, the grip on the ball that you have is amazing. Just um, practicing with these and trying to break them in. Well, not this colorway, but my last pair. Um, I actually went to um, dribble the ball got stuck and I fell, I wiped out. So the grip is definitely there and it definitely works. So this Nike grip net is legit. It's not just um, um, a gimmick, you know, something to advertise and try to get people to buy. So, you know, and I feel like it should fit all foot types. If you can see, it's pretty wide in this area and there isn't much wrong to say about the boot. Um, of course, no boot is perfect. But if you're looking at what it's supposed to offer and what it's supposed to do, I feel like it's 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 great and it does everything that it's supposed to do and what it says it's going to do. Um, it was funny. There was a conversation that I was having on YouTube with somebody and and someone had said um, if the Mercurio um, had like this upper, um, you know, if that would be like the, the best boot. And I said it probably wouldn't happen because they want to keep it separate where they want to keep, keep the grip you know, control boot separate from the Mercurial speed boot, but actually it looks like the new Mercurial is going to have more of this type of grip on it. So they are going to offer the Mercurial with this like grip thing. I believe, I believe. Um, so who knows if this line will continue after the two, um, everybody loved the one. The soul play was different on the one, but to me, this is, I don't know. I just like this more aggressive stuff. It could be because I play in Florida and the pitches get muddy here most most year they are pretty muddy more than like there's really no type of grass or anything so it's it's just mud so you kind of do need something 
where you're not going to be slipping um, around. I recently wore some temples and the mud just got filled up. I switched around the curls and it was fine. So this stud pattern for me here in Florida works great. I understand that if you don't want something aggressive or maybe you play on surf, obviously go with the AG pattern. Unfortunately, please um, don't come in an AG uh, stud pattern this colorway. Um, and they seem to be sold out on Nike. I don't know if they'll restock, but if you like this, try to find them wherever you can. And yeah, guys, I just wanted to show you guys. I think this is an amazing colorway and I can't wait to wear them. This will probably be my rotation for a long time. Uh, but thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.